The election is over. It's been a long time and very toughly fought. What stands out for you right now about what's likely to happen in a second Obama administration? Well, there's no question that the uh, number of Hispanic Americans who voted, uh, which we think will probably be close to 11 million or a little over 11 million people, which is about 3 million more than were in 2008, so a significant number. But the fact that they voted in so overwhelmingly for President Obama, um, 70, 71 percent, depending on the state, says that President Obama owes the community uh, a real debt of gratitude. So how is he going to respond to it? Well, the first issue that people think will be what's going to happen on immigration reform. I think what people need to understand is that this is not a, something that president can do by himself. It requires Congress. And our problem is the Republican House of Representatives, where there is a significant conservative Tea Party Republican anti-immigrant members who only care about their election, truly, unless they think they could lose control in 2014. They're not going to pay attention to immigration. And for many of those conservative members, they don't have a very significant Latino population. So the only people who really care in terms of the Latino vote and its impact on elections are either those senators who are up for re-election in 2014 or those people who will be running for president in 2016. Unless the House thinks it real, they're prepared to make sure that a Republican has a chance in 2016, they're not going to do anything. At the same time, President Obama cannot be seen waiting for the House of, for Congress to do this. That's what he did in the first term and uh, waited so long. And I think the Republicans are somewhat right to say, well, President Obama never made a proposal. This time, President Obama has to show that he is trying to get immigration reform, even if he doesn't have all the votes. And this is going to be critical because he has to be caught trying. And then it puts the issue, if it fails, it clearly falls on Republicans. And frankly, if that happens and the Republicans don't see the light, I would say that 2016 may very well be yet another opportunity for a Democrat because Latinos will remember who stopped it. But only if President Obama really puts the issue front and center and also does something about deportations. He will not be given a pass this second term, not with this kind of support, not with the turnout. Um, there will be really serious price to pay if he doesn't uh, attempt to pass immigration reform. And let's remember, it isn't just immigration that Latinos care about. It, number one issue was economy and jobs. So what he does in the second term in terms of really trying to create jobs for all communities um, will also pay some attention. But there's a symbolic, not symbolic, this issue of immigration reform is real and it hurts families unless he really tries. I think um, the chances of Democrats taking the House in 2014 uh, or uh, a White House in 2016 lessens unless he really puts the issue crystal clear. How do you see this playing out on a state level, I think, in California, for example? Well, I think in California, it puts tremendous pressure on state efforts to um, protect immigrants. There was a bill in California that would have limited cooperation with the Department of Homeland Security only to serious felony and violent crimes, those aliens, those undocumented. And Jerry Brown, Governor Brown, vetoed it. I think if we're able to put that bill and pass it again, which I think we would, I think Governor Brown may very well sign it. Mm -hmm. And so it has real, real, uh, there are real opportunities for uh, state action, uh, including small DREAM Act, like making tuition available for tuition assistance for undocumented students. Uh, there are efforts, I think, underway in terms of making sure that 
children of undocumented have a real chance to succeed um, in terms of government uh, yeah, tutoring programs, those kinds. I think there are real opportunities uh, because the Latino population is young, it's growing, and it really flexed its, flexed its muscles. Were there any surprises related to the Latino population on a national level coming out of this election? I think what was interesting uh, was the motivation of so many to work across a number of different states. So not so much surprising, but rather that the hard work of many months this was not, that was independent of the campaign actually uh, paid off at the ballot boxes. As we start to untangle state by state, we will be able to see that uh, Latino organizations were a critical component, not just the campaign, and they did it with very few resources, I can tell you that. Um, so I think that what I'm hoping as we debrief is that the political machine, machinery, those who run campaigns, are going to really look at how you make investments so that you can win. And I expect to see much more investment in the Latino community. Thank you very much.